So how do we get the mental imagery going when we're getting ready to do our active imagination? So we have some tips in here on how to do that. We begin by taking our minds off the external world around us and focusing on the imagination. Redirect our inner eye to a place inside us then wait to see who will show up. He also talks about how one of his favorite techniques for doing this is to go to a pre-established place in his imagination. So he would like to imagine himself walking down a beach and then encountering a dream figure there that he could dialogue with. He also talks about a guy who would go through a sort of like mental ritual before starting his act of imagination where he would imagine himself putting on this blue monk's cowl. Next up, he talks about something that was pretty cool to me at least, where he says, the purest form of active imagination, and this sounds a lot like how I like to start my hypnagogic meditation sessions. Perhaps the purest form of active imagination is that in which you simply clear your mind, go to your imagination, and wait to see who will appear. He calls this emptying the ego. This is the purest form of active imagination because the ego does not choose whom you will dialogue with or what will rise up into your imagination. Uh, next up, he talks about how you can harness like passive fantasies and kind of convert those into active imaginations. Harnessing fantasy is a way of converting passive fantasy into active imagination. In its simplest form, you look at the fantasies that have been going through your mind today and you choose an image, uh, a person or a situation. Then you participate in the fantasy, enter into dialogue with the characters, record what is said and done, and thereby convert the passive fantasy into a genuine active imagination. And then if you're still having problems, he gives a recommendation of um, where you can call up like an image from a recent dream that you had and then bring that to mind and then let that image or, or let that scene play out in a different way than it played out in the dream and how you can use that as your um, active imagination as well. So those are some cool tips there. You know, my two favorites was, you know, of course, just empty the mind thing and kind of get to what I would consider like, you know, getting close to that hypnagogic space where these mental imagery is getting really clear and then play around in there. That might just be my favorite because I'm very used to it. Although I cannot really get to the whole have a dialogue with one of the characters in there. Mostly because like my, my hypnagogic type space when I'm getting to these more clear type images, they're not typically very audible and until I get like super deep into it. So I'm still having some issues there. And then like I'll think too much about it then blank everything out and I can't see it no more. Uh, and then the other one I've been using uh, the most besides the just empty your mind thing is trying to go to a predetermined place. So I was just using the same one, like trying to imagine myself walking down a beach, getting into contact with some dream character and trying to have a dialogue with them. But when I'm doing that, that's when it really feels like I'm just kind of making everything up in my head, which I guess isn't necessarily a bad thing as we covered in the previous video. But nonetheless, some tips to help you get started. And until the next video, keep your active imagination practice legit.